what's up. In this video, I'm going to break down the three reasons why Andrew Tate doesn't stutter or wouldn't stutter even if he was a person who stuttered. Look like a bitch. No, I'm not like these fucking mask wearers. No, you're... I walk into hell and the devil's like, oh, I'm going to burn you. I think you're going to do shit. Regardless of your opinion of him, there's still a lot of golden nuggets to be learned from here. So let's get into it. First off, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chase Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering authentically in 10 weeks or your money back plus free one-on-one -on -one coaching from me. So it's, so it's 10 weeks guaranteed to overcome your stutter. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the truth. You can find more information about that in the description below. So let's get into it. All right. So the first reason why Andrew Tate wouldn't stutter if he's a person who stutters is because people either hate or love him. What I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably will. I said, if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. And now let me break this down a little bit. In order for somebody to either hate or love you, in order to divide people like that, you have to not give a shit about what this person thinks about you. Your relationship with other people's judgments, the value you place in other people's judgments must be so low and the value you place in your own self-worth must be a lot higher than that. And when there's that discrepancy, you express yourself freely. It's only when someone else's opinion of you goes over your, your, your own ability to dictate your self-worth internally. Now they have the power to make you feel a certain way. So of course you're gonna to try to prove yourself to them and please them and be perfect around them and say the right things around them. And this puts you in your head and this puts you in a stuttering state. Andrew Tate, destroys all of that yes you can call him egocentric like he is or you can call him selfish or whatever a maniac there is this to be learned and you do not need to be egocentric or what what whatever to to have this discrepancy it's a essential part to overcome your stutter you must start to see people's judgments of you something that doesn't affect your self-worth the moment you're trying to make somebody like you is the moment you're going to stutter but the moment you are cool with this person hating you you will not be put in a stuttering state because you will feel safe just to express whatever is on your mind whatever comes up to your heart freely thus Thus, meaning you do not have to filter it to try to make this person like you because you're cool if this person hates you. And if you're cool if this person hates you, you, all, you, you automatically give room for people to love you. And that's a whole different ballpark when you have people that love you. So that's the first reason. The second reason Andrew Tate wouldn't stutter if he was a person who, who stuttered is that he speaks from the heart. Andrew, do you need a vape for this one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, the, uh, you, you know that, but you know what? I know, I, you've watched, I know you've watched my taste speech on vape. I'm, listen, but am I right? All right. So you cannot be in your head and be in your heart at the same time. When you're in your head, you're constantly filtering. Is this good enough to say? Are they going to judge me? Is this going to make me look cool? But when you're speaking from the heart, you trust you that you got that all covered. You trust that you're okay if this person doesn't like you. You trust that whatever you say is going to be good enough. So that allows you to have a thought and just speak it out without needing to filter it. Speaking from your heart removes the filter. I'm sure you've had experiences where you are maybe emotional, but you trust it. You, you don't feel unsafe in this emotional state. You're in a very, may, might, be with a ther might be with a therapist or might be with a really good friend or your husband or wife. You feel very safe to express these, um, these emotions 
and you don't filter it, you just vent to them. When you're venting and you're in this emotional expression state, you don't stutter because there's no filter. Is this good enough? No, you feel safe with whoever you're speaking to. So you express yourself freely. Andrew, T Andrew Tate does this very well. And the third and final reason is his relationship with discomfort. Andrew, are there ever days where you don't feel like working out? It's not about feeling like doing it. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. I will only drink water. Join hate you. I will stop being a loser. I will follow the word of Tate. I have a question. That's what you need to do. Can I get it? It's hard. No, this is my stream. I'm talking. Okay. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like fucking doing. Okay. That's the difference between a man and a fucking child. I know, I remember he said that you must every day do things that you don't want to do. And this one saying shows why he's achieved so much and why he wouldn't stutter if he was a person who stutters. Because in order to speak freely, you must be able to trust yourself fully, trust your inherent capabilities of speaking effortlessly like you already do in a room by yourself. But this trust of your natural capabilities gets fucking squashed every time you don't show up for yourself. Every time you say you're gonna do something, but you don't fulfill this promise to yourself because you're disconnecting the trust between your thoughts and what you actually do. And now, next time you're in a speaking interaction, and you have a thought to speak and you want to you want to speak you're going to hold back because you just disconnected the trust because of these lazy activities you did or because you said you're going to go to the gym but you didn't go to the gym and now it's a lot easier to give in to the fear and the discomfort of of whatever resistance may come up to say this word oh i think i'm going to stutter okay hold back don't say the thing you want to say and hold back to it's a lot safer. And this perpetuates the, dis, the, the mistrust that you build with yourself that you will not show up for yourself. In order to overcome our stutter, we must start showing up for ourselves and holding a strong sense of self-trust with ourselves so we feel that we can express ourselves and no matter what comes up, we will still be authentic and we, we will still be ourselves. That is massive. So I hope you learned a lot from this, regardless of your opinion of him. This is three reasons why he would not stutter if he was a person who stuttered. If you like this type of video, let me know. It's fun to deconstruct wild people. And again, if you want to overcome your stutter in 10 weeks or all your money back, plus free one-on-one -on -one coaching from me until you do overcome your stutter, so it's guaranteed, then and I know it sounds crazy, too good to be true, but that's how confident I am that the, the process that I created, that I overcame my stutter with and helped dozens of people overcome their stutter with too, works consistently. Um, look at the link down below in the description and you'll see all the information for that. Um, only for action takers though, all right? I love you.